Dude. Wake that ass up. Happy 2019. I feel like this is a, well, not happy 2019. Happy Black History, History Month, Month 2019, <laughs> February. And we got Miss Peachy Pop back on the couch, man. Back. Actually, we did an uh, uh, entertainment report. We ain't on. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, oh, my bad, camera. I thought we wasn't on. You, know, you heard it. You seen the serious face? <laughs> we ain't did an entertainment report all year. What's up, Peachy? What's good? Long time no see, man. Thanks. So off camera, you know, first of all, the Super Bowl is over with. Thank we're not you, gonna Jesus. jump. Yeah, we're not going to jump into it. But you worked at the Super Bowl at the I Dome. Did. Was it an experience? It was an experience. Like, getting through them lines, first of all, was ridiculous. I had to be in line at 9 o'clock in the morning to make sure that I was in the doors by 11. Which, when I went in line got like to get my credentials and shit, it really wasn't hard. It was just a long ass so line. So the staff had to get in line to get the credentials. The okay. staff, the line was from Vine City Martyr Station all the way to all the way to the front doors of the Georgia War Congress Center. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I had to take the train to get down here every day of the week last week. Well, I only worked. Um, I only worked at the stadium on Saturday. On, okay. I mean, on Sunday. Okay. And then I worked on on downtown on the other days, but I drove. I just had to leave like two hours early just to find a parking spot. Was the uh. Was they tipping this weekend? Oh, they was tipping. <laughs> you know that money was good. That Super Bowl money was good. But Super Bowl, I ain't even gonna flex. That shit was lame. It was lame. That shit was lame. Like was... Patriots fans are boring as fuck. You from up that way too, though, right? Buffalo, not Boston. I mean, but New York, but New England. Y'all, I'm saying though. Well, what fans are y'all? Buffalo, y'all, y'all Bills yeah. fans. Never mind. I would think Buffalo people would be Patriots fans too. The fact that it's all the way up there. Because I know I'm all for the underdogs. Okay. I feel like the Patriots, like y'all, want enough. Ain't the Bills Give the somebody another the conference? You you talk uh, that's I, football. I'm talking. I don't know why I'm talking football. Talk exactly. <laughs> they not though, right? Okay. So how did you? Uh, let me ask you this. So far as the the place that I went, I'm not gonna say no names, but I just don't think it was they were ready for. Even though people, I don't, I think a lot of people was, wasn't over understaffed, but I just think people wasn't ready for the aggressive. So when it comes to like live ass weekends in Atlanta, like you have to come and be like ready to fucking work. Like on a day like Thursday, no Friday and Saturday, I worked at Old Lady Gang. Okay. And dead ass, I ain't had time to eat. I didn't eat that whole day. Yeah. I, I worked from it. eleven to one thirty straight. I can believe it. On the it. bar, like. If I had a break, it was literally for like five minutes, and that was it. Like, I think we that needed that. Though. I think the city needed Super Bowl, though. I think we needed that to kind of solidify that. I stamp. think everybody was so much caught up in the hype. Yeah, like, yeah. Of course, yeah. I mean, shit. Who? Everybody can't say that the Super Bowl came to their city. Right, right, right. So right, I, right. I, I, I fuck with that, but at the same time, like, it was just. It was so it was hyped up way more. It was a little too hyped. Yeah. I didn't see the traffic hit like they, they it was supposed to be an ex estimated one million more people in town. Like I did not Oh no. I saw it. You see like, one million people? I feel like everybody that came to Atlanta okay. for Super Bowl rather than like it was niggas from up north. It was niggas from all over the place. Okay. Here in Atlanta. Fucking with my livelihood. Like on some real shit, I almost I really that ass almost got robbed. Like <laughs> I believe I'm not it. even I'm not even lying. It was some niggas standing on the corner like I was leaving work and I was walking by myself downtown. Yeah. Had no business walking by myself, but like, I ain't never been more scared like that. Like, bitch had her taser out. I was ready to fuck a nigga up. But and it was more. I guess I seen more. It was a diverse. The martyr trains was sick. I don't know if, yeah. they probably, if you take public transportation, but martyr trains were. I took I took martyr maybe two or three times last week just to get around, and it was crazy. Yeah. But that was enough of the Super Bowl, man. And up. I don't want to hop off into too much too much drama talk this morning. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we we gonna save that. But I think the drama thing that we're talking about for the people that you know is the offset and Chris Brown scenario. And I think uh, just to, just to not jump too deep into it, it almost looked like they shows that they had a personal problem prior to this situation. I think that's exactly what that's it was it because yeah. ain't no way in hell like Chris Brown would have popped off. So hard on Offset, just because if it wasn't something prior to something prior to that's that's it's, what it had to be. That's what it had to. It be. had to been and just uh, that's that's what it had to be, homie. That's what it had to be. <laughs> Think of that's okay. it, 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 and I'm just speaking from okay. We two grown men, right? 
we done made music before. We done came across concerts. We done came across, so, you know, female something. Same city, LA. Same industry. We're in the same industry. It's almost like DJs, but we got, but we millionaires. And I think prior to even just jump into the whole, I think even though he was just a me, it was so petty. It shows that it was a personal problem in the intel between them two. Right. Whether it's them two, they clicks. It had to be some type of personal vendetta now, outside of that right. situation. To My intake it. was, if I didn't know, which I, I didn't think about that yeah. until you just said it. Mm. But my whole thing was Chris Brown is a grown ass man. Right. And it's his fucking Instagram. And right. He's going to post whatever the fuck you feel like posting. And right. it was the meme. This meme b had been going around. Right. So right. why did it piss Offset off so fucking bad? That's right. Like, it's, 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 Unless it's, you fuck, everybody fuck with Twenty One Savage. I get yeah, it, but yeah. like nigga, he ain't talking about Quavo. He ain't talking about Takeoff. And I wouldn't go. Why? Why are you going so hard? And I'm glad you just said that. So for for and you know this Quavo and Takeoff. I'm gonna let you say something. Quavo and Takeoff isn't saying anything. That shows you it's a personal situation exactly. between Offset and Chris Brown. Just think about it. Like if you mind, if we ride amigos and this nigga fuck you, fuck a Chris. If if it's if it's on that for real, like nigga nigga, we done, you're not about to beef with my nigga, like. Fuck you, nigga. Right. But if it's none of that, from no entourage member, nothing, no, and it's just, it's something personal. That's yeah. just. Uh, is, or like, take that down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shows you it's more. Didn't, um, yeah. yeah. Didn't Chris Brown. We got a special jump. guest didn't in the. Chris Brown, Izzy, what's up? It's Izzy for the win. We got Izzy in here. We good on the mic? We can hear Izzy? What's up? Izzy, Izzy? for the win is in the building. Yes, I uh, didn't. Uh, Chris Brown um, jump in Cardi B's uh, DM after they were separated. See, you see them. I, I remember. That's a, that's it, it, it had, I don't. Not, you know, it I'm has to be something. I it heard it was more. You know, I heard they've been. Cardi was for a hot. Minute. So think about it. When Cardi was. I mean, hot, that's the case. Then okay. If that was the case, then Offset address that. Yeah. Don't don't but, pop off on some Twenty One Savage. But bullshit the fact and that, let that be the reason. But the I fact, didn't beef with this. But think about this. The fact that they so sub yeah they passed progress because. It's so subliminal. Fuck that! I ain't even gonna bring the car. Let me, nigga. You, why you gonna put my nigga up there like that? I'm, I'm just gonna leave my girl out of the situation. This, this give me, this give me another <laughs> fuel to the fire to use to kind of to fill it up, nigga. Like, cause I'm not gonna, I'm gonna look like a hoe if I really come at you about my girl. But I can, no, I, but I'm gonna, a married man. But I'm gonna look like support if I come about my nigga. Stop it. See, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What it's, you mean, stop it? <laughs> no, we not see y'all. What you mean, that's, stop it? Nah, because he's he trying to fire me up. He's trying to find something. What you mean, stop it? He's trying to find something. I said, fucked up. Whatever, but if a nigga come at you about your wife, that's different. Nigga, you you got beef with this nigga. It's yeah. smoke. Are they married period. for real? Yeah. Yes, they're married. It's it's court documented. Oh, okay. So that's it. We're gonna move on from the offset. We'll stop. We're gonna move I cannot. On. We're gonna move on from the offset. In other news, uh, Ti speaks out on the Gucci racism, and he went the fucking and Montclair. I don't. I haven't. I, I can't really play it on camera. I don't know how we can do this. I haven't really watched. It. I don't know if I need to watch it off camera. But anyway. From the title, it says T.I. First of all, do people know about the Gucci sweater that came out showing the black face last week? Almost right. like a tur it's like a turtleneck, but you pull the turtleneck over your face, right? And, and it got the red lips. And it has the red lips, right? Um, I wish I could pull the camera, but it's too much right now. But anyway, Gucci put out this piece of fab. Don't, but don't y'all notice every year is one of these. Every year, it's some dumb it's ass, some dumb racist. ass racism shit mm. from these leading designer brands, from Louis, from Gucci. From what? What was the other one? H and M did it. H and M, and they said H and M was they said H and M was the middle the uh, working class designer, right? They said that's the working class man's designer clothing, mm -hmm. whatever the scenario is. But don't y'all notice every year it's always these companies they showing you. I don't know what time of the year that they do it, but for them to do this shit right during Black History Month, Black like they History got Month. everybody irate, and Montclair did it too. Montclair got the bubble jacket with um, yeah. the the. Eyes and the um the red lips all over it. Montclair. And so yeah. see, I just spoke out about about he spoke out about that shit too. See, I gotta and I wish we can't play it on camera. I wish I could because it's right here on my computer and y'all can't hear it. And he looked real upset. I'm gonna have to watch it off camera. It's seven minutes long. It's way the thing about it, like. We continue to support them, like, and they know that they like, bro. Y'all gonna still buy our shit, mm -hmm. but, so, but we ain't gonna buy so, that. But what they're saying is, um, what they want people to do because of this is, don't buy Gucci for three months, don't wear Gucci for three months, and what else was it? I think those are the main two things. 
don't buy it and don't wear it for the next three months. Now, I don't know what three months will do, but... It's definitely gonna hurt their pockets. They need to, it's gonna hurt their pockets, but just take the shit down. And, and what um what Ti said, let me find it real quick. He was on Instagram. He has said um no matter what, like when you have a um this okay I'm a, this one the Montclair jacket. He said you thought you you got let me by see the me. He said you. Oh wow. Oh, let me zoom in. Oh wow. They put out a jacket like that with the black face. That's a sambo face. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even see that one. Yeah. So he said, this is what they think about us. They think they can disrespect us to our faces, literally. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he said, I have three clothing lines, and I can tell you personally, no brand wastes money shipping product, wastes money shipping product to stores that they don't plan to sell. And he said, this shit is purposefully done. Don't believe for one moment that shit just gets out of the warehouse and factory of a fashion brand without anyone in high well high up in rank signing off on it. So you know and I know it's not just It a, ain't no subliminal a, shit. A, it's yeah. not just a panel full of white yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a couple of us Yeah. Yeah. In there that had to, you know, see this before it got before, before it got, it got yeah. out. So why would y'all even allow that? Did, did y'all not feel no, no type of way about it? That's what that's what really got us fucked up that's because sh- it's like a try almost. Yeah. Yeah. It's like shit. We got we got it all the way up to this, you know, the highest person, and y'all signed off. I, could, I couldn't. You got to think too, though. They playing chess. We playing checkers, and I say that because like they know we black people in general are emotional as hell. Right now, we advertising for Gucci. We advertising. We advertising for Gucci. We Instead of just saying fuck them, like we know at the end of the day, we know them. They racist. Yeah. But but it's, it's like but that. y'all didn't think that. You don't think that they had a had a like a thought in the back of their mind like they might not fuck with us with this, but we just gonna put it out anyways. Like they who gonna like, buy it? They gonna get the black. We gonna get the black people talking. Gucci is probably like down to the top ten trending topic right now. But that can that can really fuck them up in their sales. It's them taking a chance, but at the same time, it's niggas like, like Trump. what more? Look at, look at Trump. Trump is a nigga that black people don't fuck with, but look where he's at. He uh, got yeah. in president office. Like, I just so I'm gonna say one thing. The black, how much we put into Gucci and all of that is just a teardrop of how much they make. They don't care about the money that they make from the black community. The reason why I say that is like out of all the, I've been in like retail where like I've watched somebody spend 10 bands, like a little Asian girl go walk in and drop 10 bands on like just normal shopping in the Gucci store. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like what they really get off of like, probably off of all the people that's really, uh, you know, like what you said about them just creating a buzz, you know what I'm saying, with this. All the people that's really racist, that really shop Gucci, that don't care about this, they're going to go, oh, okay. They're going to go cop up even Yeah, but more. how much agree, more? But still, they still get advertisement from us. Yeah, like, but how much more shine do you need, though? No, how much more shine? You got our rappers. You got you got our black models wearing your shit. You got the rappers wearing your shit. You got actors. You got every type of person every type of black person that look like us that look like me they wearing your shit they buying your shit they spending money with you they promoting your shit i, I think not that many i though. think out I of a hundred there's only about 10 <laughs> out of 100 black people there's about 10 that's actually wearing Gucci right. on a normal but, basis i my 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 that is not true my, out of every hundred i'm talking about out of every hundred black people you got about 10 that's wearing gucci on a normal basis probably gucci they Levine, you know that's that got in it when it comes to celebrities when it comes to celebrities that Rock that shit on a daily basis. It's a lot of them. This, I think my input, this is my, it's a little, my input on the whole thing is, okay, it's what JB said, it's what all y'all said. It's, it's first, it's all, well, negative promo is good promo. Any promo is good promo, for one. And I think it's bigger than, it's like integrity. It's like, they know black people, they know the urban community is so much in competition with each other, right? So if I know my outfit can put me past you in the mind, like, nigga, I got on a, if I know I can take this rapper, this celebrity, this whatever, and endorse them with my brand, I'm gonna put y'all in competition because they always they want to see us in competition with us anyway, right? So why not make the fashion which we care about when we leave out the house anyway to show you? If I got on an all Gucci outfit and you got on an all Adidas outfit, right? And I'm sitting over here all Gucci, that puts me in a ranking system like nigga, yeah, I got an all Gucci over here. Like look how Soldier Boy came out when he was on his thing. Remember how Soldier Boy whole persona was like nigga, I'm rich like up. But people respect what he was saying, his factual. But look mm-hmm. at Soulja Boy. He had an old ass Gucci. Like he said, I got an old Gucci head, but I can go buy a million of these. But you know what I'm saying? With that promotion, now you got little kids that's in high school right now, right? I just think they, they running this weekend to go look for a Gucci headband. I don't think so, bro. I think that at the it's, end of the I day, mean, it's, I, I agree with what you're it's saying. It's market. It's I market. agree with what you're saying. The only difference is that 
I don't, I really believe what Jay Black said earlier about them just being plain old racist. Like it's not about the money for them because they don't. So it's so do you think that this is their this is their way of face. no this is their way of trying to get us to stop wearing their shit. I think it's that, way of a little piece of that, a and it's a part like I, we going we don't really care about y'all, but y'all still wearing our shit, so, and you know. Ha, so let's ha, go ha, back. So let's so say like this. That's why they said we don't support the black neighborhood, right? So if I got this black fashion line on the table next to this designer fashion line, they know that people gonna go to this designer fashion line quicker than that. So why not infuse this designer fashion into your favorite rapper, right? And that's I'm the thing. Saying, the I rappers, agree. The, the so, celebrity has to wear. The, look, the, if if let's say Reebok for example, right. All the celebrities have to wear a Reebok and promote Reebok. They, a lot right. of people are followers. But how many celebrities gonna wear a black owned? That's what we gotta start facts. doing. That's what though. We gotta start. We doing. have to start. But it goes back to what I just said. Us as mental people, we look as we can wear our, our classic system just of an outfit where we have on. How many people are just gonna be cool? With, all right, let's go. All I can't, I can't categorize you in a room if we all got on the same black on. You see what I'm saying? If we walk in a room of, that's just how the work. That's just how they depict us. I just don't you know think I'm they. You see what I'm, I don't I, think that they even. They're not privy to those conversations and they're true. not privy to those, to these situations. True. So they're the people that that make those decisions don't know. So you that, said they really don't care. They don't Basically. care about us as a date. They, they right, all, you know what I'm saying? They are literally. That's saying. why they put it out there like really, that. I, I know feel that. like whoever you know designed this and the Montclair jacket. Like I want to. I want them to speak up and and just. Give us some type of insight on what what y'all was thinking behind that. They you gonna know what get saying? some politically like, correct answer. They not gonna right. tell us exactly how they feel. They gonna be like, like oh, I didn't, I didn't think no. I thought it was a creative idea. They gonna tell us some bullshit like, and that's just that's even that makes me even more mad. And it's when like, you do y'all even face, know like, our history well enough to put some shit out like that and not not know that it was gonna be a, a bit of racism? The at number, all. the numbers of the numbers. I just want y'all to under, hear what I'm think about what I'm saying about with the numbers. The numbers of how many celebrities, let's say you got 100 notable celebrities that are wearing Gucci, right? And that's about, a, a, let's say 1,000, you know what I mean? Like 1,000 notable celebrities that wear Gucci all the time. That is still doesn't equate to the amount of normal, regular, everyday rich people that just buy Gucci just because, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, I'm about to say even, fuck Gucci. Baby. It's not even, a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not I even never, close. I, never, I never was fucking with Gucci. So yeah, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about, about wealthy Gucci, people. Because we're giving them too much airplay right yeah. now. Because yeah. yeah. we really giving up. But I, I, get, I like what you're yeah. saying. To the point of they really don't care about us. They really don't. We can I, really just chalk I, it and keep we, it. We, 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 we got to, we got to, and that's the thing about us, period. Like, the reason these companies disrespecting us is because we need them. You feel me? We can't boycott these grocery stores because we don't have a black owned grocery store to go to. We need them. Like, when you need something, you can't boycott it. When a motherfucker feel like you need them, they going to disrespect you because, nigga, you need me. Like, at the end of the day, you ain't right. going nowhere. And that's how these companies looking at us. Yeah. Until we start building our own community. Having our own business, supporting our own businesses, and building our own, we really can't we can't say shit but get mad. True. So all we're gonna do is get mad. It's almost systematically really almost really hard because uh, we don't even want to pay each other what we worth like on a small scale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if somebody is a designer and they're using the top of the line quality leather, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's so expensive because the leather costs so much to make to stitch. It's a I mean, one of shit. the kind of pieces. Niggas gonna buy Gucci. They buying Kanye shit. Right. True. They buying the Yeezys. I mean, should I support? I'd rather support Kanye. He black. That's yeah. what I'm I support Kanye. Right. I'd rather support Kanye. Even through all the bullshit, I'd rather support him than a, a racist ass brain. Well, since we in, in other news, we're going to move up from the fashion. Let's talk about this QC stripper bowl that was thrown in Atlanta. I've been, I've been trying to get off from that fake. subject. I've been trying to get off. I know it's fake. But I was trying to get off the Gucci so we could. Okay, summary real quick. What but, day was it? Last Sunday or Monday? That was Sunday. Last Sunday, uh, Quality Control Music threw a stripper bowl at. A famous gold room, gold room, you know, his club in a lounge in Atlanta called Gold Room, and Gold Room is not a strip club. It's, first let's, of all, let's let's it's let's not a strip club. Let, it's, there. it's not a club. That's why I said lounge. It's not a strip club. It's a, it's, it's a lounge. But it's it's a, a it's a two story. It's a two story club. lounge club that is. If you come to Atlanta as a visitor, this is the place you're gonna hear about because one of the main promoters, you know, they run this club. You're gonna hear about Gold Room. Boom, check it. Industry event last week. It. This is the clip that I seen the clip that Bootsy put up. It's talking about P. Like, man, I ain't never seen a nigga throw out this much money in the club. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm talking about the stripper, but I seen the highlights of it. So the first thing I heard was it was two million. At first I heard two million. I heard three. I heard three. Too. First, okay, so first y'all heard was three million dollars thrown out. Right. Second and then none, he had the trucks. He had the trucks with the money. It was like it wasn't no brink truck, but it was damn near close. It was like, close. It was like they own truck. With bags and bags. First of all, these niggas got money. We know they not. We know QC is the new. He got all the top artists. He has all the top artists. He has Yachty. 
Migos, Cardi B, City Girls, City Girls, baby. Lil baby. so Lil Baby. So we can all his his top five right now are all pushing M's in a year, right? So I can't take. So we know he has the money. We we can already yes. we can't we can't try his money. We can't we cannot say he don't have them. We can't. So like boom, let's jump. I went from three million, then I heard one million. Then I heard 500,000. So I heard the number set at half a million. So I'm, I'm safe to say that it probably was a half a million thrown out in the gold room. And we're talking about within a four-hour span. We're not talking about a club is open for four hours of making money. It's from 9 p.m. when the staff get there, 10 o'clock club time. So we're going to count them four hours from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And they probably ain't get to that about 1 o'clock. And uh, we know when clubs we, closed at 4. Clubs closed at 4 for Where? Super Bowl weekend. For Super Bowl weekend they did. So, But Jeez. I don't know if they did that night. I don't know if that night was considered one of the Super Bowl weekend nights. But anyway, it was it was two that's, we're gonna say ten to two AM. Just to say the money making hours, right? Let's say three. Because three Let's is say not, three. Yeah. Let's three say five hours. So a half a million dollars on the floor in five hours. Not in the, and this ain't even a strip club. And this is not just the floor. This is in the section. The whole club the section. Couches, and the tables, the bar, the steps. Shit, the walkway, everywhere was covered in fucking. I, I wasn't one. there. I wasn't there, but I can vouch for one young lady who showed me video of her purse at the end of the night, and she was not a dancer. Uh, she said that it was very easy to walk away with a, a good thousand dollars. I she heard was that a bitch a had a purse on the floor and walked away with six bands. That's what I'm and saying. Got her body done. And got her body done after she and left. Got, that was the money to, for her to get her body done. Yeah, I've met I've met a woman who told me that it was lit. She so you said, had to be the who's who of Atlanta to be here if you was a woman, right? Okay. Really? No, I think no. really anybody could have went to the gold room. You just had to pay, pay to get in. like a hundred dollars to get she, in. She uh, she, she said she tried to get in. She said she tried to get in as, as a dancer, and they denied her because she wasn't on the list. So, so she came in through the I heard front door. Had to pay she, paid, she paid her front door ticket. Just because she knew that she was about to come up at least some bread because it was going to be on the floor. And that's she had to pay two hundred dollars to work. I heard that. That's so let's, normal. So let's jump into the fact. Let's jump into the the, the, uh, the club, the, the hood, the, the street facts that I've heard. The dancers had to pay two hundred dollars to work. Normal. The gold room had got forty percent of what they made that I heard night. Thirty. You heard, I heard forty. Thing, I heard so, thirty. But look, the thing is, what's fucked up is that gold room ain't no strip. club. It ain't a strip club. So yeah. how are you? Taking a percentage so this is what I think of the did. strippers when y'all getting bottles, this y'all getting money from the bottles, this y'all what I think money they from the did. door, the bar, the hookahs. This is what I think they did. I think they found the loophole in the system because it's something, I just know because I'm a DJ, but you, you can go buy something that's called a partial industry permit. Like if you're doing an event, you know you're going to have people taking off their clothes. Mm -hmm. You can pay for this permit, but being that it was Super Bowl weekend, I don't know what this permit price could have been. I don't know what they could have paid for it, but they went and bought, it's almost like a catering license. Yeah, but I don't think so, permit. So, like if you purchase a permit, I don't think the prices go up. No, I don't. Being what what weekend it is? It right. I don't think it went up, but the fact that they bought they bought this little license and this partial license to be able to let these girls take off their clothes in a lounge, they had right. to buy some type of. Because you need document. a license, you need a stripper you need license, a, and a, all the strippers permit. need that. So permit as well, which they probably didn't have. I think that's how they got jug. I think that's how the jug. The jug probably was because there's a lot of out of town dancers too, right? It was. Specifically, out of town dances. So they came to Georgia, the state of the Georgia, and they danced in entertainers under a, some type of inter, somebody's temporary license. Mm -hmm. That's what they paid for. They, they're they're cut. So like I said, it was probably a very fine line on the okay. contract. So when it comes down to these bitches walking out with a bag, yeah, their bag was not that heavy. So what's they the number you heard? I heard about one hundred twenty-five thousand first, right? That's the first number I heard. I heard Twelve girls. Piece? Yeah, I heard 10 girls left with 125000 I heard that they was up counting money till 1 p.m. Yeah, but what the money when it comes it, down to it, a bitch literally... What the money counters, though? I ain't understand that part. But anyway, go ahead. That's what I'm saying. They yeah. probably... Yeah, I don't go ahead. Know. Keep going. Keep going. Because I worked in the strip though. club. They still had to pick all that shit up. I they, what you do is you yeah. pick up the money, you flatten it out, and you put it in the, the counter. Counter, yeah. Like That's what I you're supposed I to do. But, I've worked in the strip right, club. I've seen it. I've watched bitches do that shit for hours. But the thing is... One girl got on um, on fucking Instagram, made a video, and she specifically said that she could have stayed at home where um, she would have made damn near the same amount on a big night. And it was on like two bands, almost three. So you know what happened? A piece. That's it? That's it. Yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard this one girl say she came from uh, Chicago. She said she made like 3200 You said your home. I said if you came there and you traveled all the way there and you only made thirty two hundred, and my homegirl who didn't who 
came there and basically finessed her way through the front door and left with a with a band and she didn't dance. She literally just you got work. I don't think you worked hard enough. No, it ain't no you don't nah, think. It is you got you got jug. You, you got scam. You, you, you got jug because <laughs> yeah. number one, yeah. you, you paying you, you paying the house. Jug. You What's paying the a, you yeah, paying yeah, the yeah. house, that's forty yeah. percent. 30 to 40 percent, yeah. boom. Then you're paying the house mom because ain't no way in hell they had autumn sugar there and didn't have a house mom. Right. Then they're paying based off what they made. Okay, they they paying the house to work based off what they made. They had to pay a percentage to that, of that. And it's almost between like, X amount of bitches. It probably went like yo, whatever you didn't get in your bag is not your money. Because I'm trying to see how that even looked. So how they even. Because it ain't no real cleanup guys coming. Like a strip club has cleanup guys. No, but the you thing know. is, they had all that money. It's like, we just going to throw the money. We going to throw the money. Y'all going to dance. We going to throw the money. And it's going to stay there. And we going to bag all of this shit up. And everybody's going to split it. That's what, that's Rather than yeah. you go to a normal strip club or on a normal night and... You got a stage. You got a stage yeah. or you got, yeah. this is your set. Yeah. This is your money for your set. Yeah. What they should have did was had... Okay, get this section. These three girls going to this section. Get this section. These three girls going yeah. to this section. Got this VIP or whatever. These bitches, these top-notch strippers about to be working in this VIP. Yeah. And then your money is your money and your money is your money. Yeah. And we ain't got to worry about splitting shit because this is my shit. And the only people I'm splitting it with is the two bitches that I dance with. Do you think that affected, in, like, the, 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 that, do you think that one little weekend, that one little day last week, you think that affected, the, like, the strip club culture a little bit in the city? Nah, because yeah. still... Gold Room is not a strip, strip club. club. Right. It was a stripper bowl. It's not like that's that was the first ever. I'm sure yeah, they're gonna man. learn from yeah. that shit. Why did yeah. they not why didn't they go to the strip club though? You gotta think. It's Bitches Migos. at the strip club. It's the Migos though. I'm, if I work at a strip club I'm not about to have a whole bunch of out-of-town bitches come in and take true, true, Yeah, true. You taking money out of my motherfucking yeah. pocket. But, I mean, they did that because last year when the Super Bowl was in Houston, I heard a, bu a bus of Atlanta strippers went down to Houston. I mean, and that's bad. cool, but... See, it, probably means that, it, probably, it probably means that if they didn't do it at a strip club, that means whoever put it on is owns the location. Like, whoever whoever's idea it was. Like, if I already got this particular location, I'm not... You know, we're not going to try to do no business with a strip club. We're going to bring the business here. Also... For me, just being a you know a ex a retired strip club veteran. Um, that way, <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia is the only Atlanta is the only city two minutes left um, that the girls get butt naked. I don't know if y'all know that. That's why they call yes. Atlanta the strip club Indeed. capital. So I'm pretty sure another the fines and the, and the purchases came in like Texas. They got to wear little pastries on y'all. You know New York, uh, New, but Miami they don't get naked down there. No, they don't get butt naked in Miami. Nowhere, nowhere. So that's what I'm saying. If you kind of a traveler, strip club enthusiast like myself used to be. Atlanta is the only city. That's why this is a the strip club. Philly get naked. Philly they get, get naked. butt ass naked, and you ain't had to throw a dollar. You can go. All you have to do is buy. You can get some music. You can hear. They got titty bars in other cities. They call them titty bars, but they're not. You keep your bottoms on, but you right. take it top. Atlanta is the only city in the industry entertainment that these girls get butt ass naked. You don't have to. Th I'm talking about you see everything without throwing a dollar. So that's another thing that I think that came into play about why the club it had to have been something the strippers not used to that too a lot of the strippers are not used to that in Atlanta no, they, they, thought, they, they want to be why, here in Atlanta so bad till they so, get here and realize that for five dollars I gotta show my titty so that's the other reason why I think that they couldn't infiltrate no other clubs and because that's a that's a like you can't go no other way in the world and, take, and get a butt ass nigga but Atlanta, that's why a lot of people fly into Atlanta that's the that's what I was gonna say a lot of people fly in Atlanta just to come to the strip clubs because these niggas can't go in their city and see a girl fully uh what you call it naked and you know what I'm saying? And you have that time. You can't see that. No way. Well. So, shout out to Atlanta for being the strip club capital of that. You know what I'm saying? That's not a and good thing. And make sure y'all go and, <laughs> and um, actually, it's, I want to say it's either on Boss Up or the Shade Room, but the, it's a stripper that made a video. Like, she was like, fuck that. I'm not biting my tongue. I'm not about to, you know, hold back, cover nobody's ass because this nigga did not throw this X amount of money and we did not make this X amount of money and... Did you see all them fights? I've seen it's it. been stripper bowl fights airing every day. Yeah. Like, yeah. you really, y'all really had these bitches out here brawling. Like, and I'm I'm glad it wasn't Atlanta girl because that should have probably been crazy. It'd be these strippers been fighting close. Old girl right from now. Chicago. That's the girl. She from yeah, Chicago. I, I seen that one. That's the video yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, she dead ass put like she aired everybody business out. Yeah, she was like, I really could have stayed at home for this yeah. shit. Like. But see the way Chicago, she 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 did the detail. She's like, I made twos and woes. What she's like, like she was talking about how much she, she made. I could have made the, fours instead of. Wrap it up. But, I made yeah. twos and woes and some shit. We gonna wrap it up, man. Peachy Pop is DJ Larry Love. This is our Antenna Report live from Pop Daily, the Rising Ground Morning Show. We'll see you tomorrow.